Welcome to Outside the Box. I'm Courtney Cox, and I'm here with my creator, Bill Lawrence. He created Cougar Town. And we're going to ask each other some questions that you've submitted um, for Outside the Box. You have to say it more energetically. They want you to be like, Outside the Box. Outside the Box. <laughs> As a woman who married a younger man. You married a younger man? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. As a woman who married a younger man, how do you feel about the Cougar label? Um, I have no issue with the cougar label, Bill. You have called yourself a cougar, have you not? I feel um, if, a, if a cougar is a woman who dates or is married or goes out or sleeps with a younger man, um, I've been a cougar more than once. <laughs> <laughs> Just more than once since this morning. What? I say, why not? If you can do it, do it. And also, it's important to, notion, to, to note that this isn't a show just about you going out and hooking with, up with younger guys. You know, in fact, there, there's guys your own age on the show, and it's more about you and, and being trapped in between two friends and stuff. So, I, I think also the, the word cougar gets weird when people label them. At, I, I, the women that you think of that are cougars are just ones that have had bad plastic surgery. It doesn't mean that they're cougars. They just are having a hard time aging, so they've done it in the wrong way. It doesn't, I mean, you can be a girl without plastic surgery and just be a little older and I mean Jane Seymour gorgeous woman yeah I mean so what if she dated someone 10 20 years younger she's a beautiful classic woman yeah and I think that part of the show too the reason you don't you know buying it is that your character and you is someone that doesn't want to be lumped in with the negative connotations you yeah. know and so that's why that's why me Courtney I it doesn't bother me that was confusing. What person, living or dead, would you most want to watch an episode of your show with? Uh, I'm going to say, you want me to answer? Yes. Um, I'm going to say uh, Spider-Man uh, because, no, I'm not going to say Spider-Man. Well, I will say that Toby watched the show and loves it. Toby McGuire, by the way, yeah. you just said that in a public forum, knowing ABC within a matter of minutes, it'll say Cougar Town, then in quotes, I watched it and loved it, Toby McGuire. <laughs> oh, great. And friendship over. <laughs> yeah. 82% <laughs> uh, of AOL television viewers say they have dated someone much older or younger than them. What about you? When I was a young TV writer out here, I actually totally fell for uh, the actress in a show that I worked on. And um, it was classic young guy, older woman thing because it was just a fun relationship for her and within a uh, matter of months, I was like, I love you so much. <laughs> and then it was over. <laughs> <laughs> I used to only be attracted to men that were li literally like 16 years older than me. That's because probably not I, a deeper psychological issue at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to learn. I used to love to, you know, I think I slept through most of my history classes. So when I got to date older men. By the way, the, by yeah. you have to say it again because it sounded like you slept through, you know, yeah, I used to date men that were only older than me. I slept through most of my history classes. It, it, that kind of, implies that you oh. had sex with every person there. Oh. What you meant. <laughs> I actually meant I was bored. I ignored every history class, then go back. Yeah, so I really, as you know, I got a little older, I wanted to learn more, and I was attracted to men who could teach me things, and I've always liked older men, and now that I know everything, I can just get date younger guys who don't know that much. Uh, <laughs> are there any plans for a friends reunion? Um, a, and yeah. if, if not, would you do, get them to do a guest spot on Cougar Town? B. <laughs> Um, I, there are no plans, Bill, or Jenny, to do a, a, a what's it called, a reunion. We're, we're asked that all the time. I cannot see that happening. For some reason, I just don't see that in the cards. But hopefully, you'll write some great episode for... Whoever. One of them. Yeah, I mean, Jennifer didn't say it, but I know she was thinking that she was hoping that one of them would be on the show and that you would promise that it would happen. I'm joking. I want to keep promise. <laughs> Tabitha from Miami and I were talking about, what do you think uh, an older man dating a younger woman should be called? Besides a man, um, <laughs> let's see. What, Besides I, I every man in the world? I do want to come up with something. Luckiest bastard, an LB, lucky bastard. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, sure. it's just a lucky bastard. It's a great one because they get to do that. I enjoyed our two male leads today saying they'd gladly date somebody their age and then they had to admit how old their girlfriends were. I don't think they said they gladly, they said they had. They had and then of course yeah, they Yeah, I mean all, I mean everyone does when you're like 20. And sure, you're <laughs> that's what it counts. When I was 18 I dated a 19 year old. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> I think my husband's very, very, very attracted to older women. I don't know when that phase is going to end. It never ends. Well, no. I think it does. He used to go out with uh, Ellen Barkin. Did he really? She, uh, you know, I read about her in the paper the other day because she just celebrated her 100th birthday, which is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Cut. Uh, best or worst location you've ever... <laughs> She's gorgeous. What's this? She is very pretty. What's the uh, best or worst location that you have ever been to for a shoot? Um, the best... You do best, I'll do worst, because I got a good worst if you want me to stall. Okay. And the worst is for you, too. Think of best. Well, you, you, have to do you best. start. You start. Right, worst really... is the absolute uh, dank crap hole that we shot scrubs in for the last eight years was a deserted, rat-infested hospital uh, in the valley that we let people bring their dogs to fight the rat population. You were there I for will three say days. you guys could have tried a little harder to clean that place up. It was bat nasty. That was, it was horrible. Ugly. It was ugly. Uh, but and I gotta tell way, you, none of people... y'all cared, though. What's that? No, by it's that unbelievable. time... unbelievable. <laughs> We had gotten past it. We felt like we were uh, a little bit um, like you were living in some place after a horrible natural disaster. What was the just, animal that was... We were just excited that we had fresh water. Oh God. <laughs> what was the animal that was found in this the This is couch? a real story. Uh, the oh, the yeah. fifth year of Scrubs, we went back into a room like this in the writer's room, and one of the women writers in the show was, like, was sitting like this, and she turned to the guy next to her and said, stop it, stop touching my butt. And he said, what are you talking about? I'm not doing anything. And she turned around, and in the couch, uh, there was a possum who had been living there like this. <laughs> Just looking. <laughs> and, uh, and I even, and I'm not squeamish, I screamed like a, uh, uh, like a little girl. And uh, then uh, the uh, medic came in with giant dishwashing gloves on and took it out by its tail. And, and then, we went, then we went back to work, yeah. Mine is at Santa Rosa, California, oh, no. where I did scream. I'm just going to say that. That's oh, where my most, yeah, do most best fun. First, do best first. That was best, because that's where David and I... You know, oh, you guys met there on that movie. That's where we hooked up. That's cute. Yeah. But you guys, you're professionals. You wouldn't hook up while the movie was shooting. And, <laughs> hey, Courtney, <laughs> if you had to unleash your inner cougar on one of Hollywood's young stars, who would that be? Well, I mean... I, I, David Arquette's pretty hot, and he, he rocks some serious style, by the way. He, he went, does. Since I've met him... He has not worn a single outfit that I could pull off, even if given a week to try. <laughs> um, I will have, but I, 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 think, I think he's trying to protect me because he doesn't want me to say anything. But I will say, I do find Zach Efron really handsome. Wow! I know he's young, but no, let me that's tell cool. you. I mean, he's, he's, he's uh, I think he's what? He's 15, I do 16? tell Coco, back off. <laughs> and I say to David, I'm sorry, but. Do you know what the young kids can do? Like one of the biggest things, because women have all these things that they talk about that they can't do when they're young, that they can do when they're older. But the big thing for guys, I think, is nobody over the age of 40 as a man can rock the, the hair that maybe goes down to here. Right. Like Zac Efron. Imagine if I was that guy. Hey, it's up. <laughs> <You have to. laughs> um, look, first of all, I want to thank Courtney. I want to thank the Magic Blue Box. And uh, I want to thank everybody for sending in questions and asking us stuff. And please... Please, 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 please uh, check out Cougar Town. It's a funny show. Outside the box. <laughs> Thank you.